I'm out of shape. I sweat with no activity involved. This is crazy. It's like hot up here, but also I have an AC on, so it shouldn't be this bad. We all die someday. It's an unfortunate reality to face, but it is a reality. And many people make bucket lists, things that they want to do with their lives before they kick the bucket. I have a lot of things on my bucket list, like go skydiving, wrestle an alligator, meet Brian Cranston. But these are all things that I have to leave the house to do. Except for maybe meet Brian Cranston. He might show up, I don't know. But with my next list, all you have to do is have a TV and a remote and a lot of money if you're gonna rent all these movies. Oh, I didn't even think about that. But without further ado, here are the 50 movies you must watch before you die. Number 50, Spaceballs. Best piece of satire ever made. Number 49, Predator. Arnold Schwarzenegger's gonna be on this list more than once, get over it. 48, Jaws. Spielberg's first film, and it gets better for Steven Spielberg after that. Have you seen his movie budgets? It's insane. 47, Stand By Me. Mostly because I have a Stand By Me poster over there. That's the only reason I thought of this movie, and also watched this movie. 46, The Avengers. Very recent, but also one of the best superhero movies ever made. 45, Citizen Kane. I know it's old, stay with me. Just watch the movie, it's okay. 44, Terminator. Arnold Strikes Again. 43, Rudy. If you can watch this without crying, you have no soul. 42, Swingers. This movie put Jon Favreau and Vince Vaughn on the map, so it's kind of a good movie. 41, Zombieland. Best zombie movie ever made, hands down. Not gonna argue with you. 40, Wizard of Oz. This is also old, but you've already seen The Wizard of Oz. I know that for a fact, I don't have to sell it to you. 39, The Hangover. Possibly the best modern comedy ever made. 38, E.T. The next Spielberg movie in the saga. 37, True Romance. This is the first Tarantino movie on the list. Expect more. 36, Reservoir Dogs. Like I said, expect more Tarantino. Number 35, Seven. Not the number seven, the Brad Pitt movie where the guy's head's in the box. The girl's head's in the box, it's a woman. 34, Die Hard. This movie made Bruce Willis the action star that he is today, so that's good sometimes. 33, Ocean's Eleven. The best heist film in the world. The Italian job's good, Ocean's is better. Heat is pretty good, Ocean's is better. 32, Jurassic Park. Another Spielberg movie, the next one. I'm just going through and he gets better as he moves on. 31, Back to the Future 3. 32, Back to the Future 2. 30, Back to the Future. 28, Terminator 2. It's better than Terminator 1, that's why it's further on the list. Also, Arnold again. 27, Top Gun. Besides the homoerotic nature of the film, it's pretty good. 26, Django Unchained. More Tarantino, that's right. 25, Pursuit of Happiness. Another one like Rudy. If you don't cry, what's wrong with you? 24, Inception. This one made my mind explode in my cerebellum, so... I guess that's a positive. 23, Saving Private Ryan. Tom Hanks and Matt Damon both have their best performances ever in this movie. Also, Spielberg again. 22, Batman. I'm talking Michael Keaton, Tim Burton Batman. None of this Christian Bale Batman or this George Clooney Batman or this Val Kilmer Batman or this Adam West Batman. I am talking about Michael Keaton, my boy. Not Birdman, Batman. Different superheroes. 21, Rocky. Another movie you've seen. I know you've seen it. I'm not going to sell it to you. You've had this movie sold to you. If you didn't buy it, then that's your problem. 20, The Truman Show. Best Jim Carrey movie ever made. The Mask is great. Dumb and Dumber, great. I love Ace Ventura. This movie is awesome and deep and it made me question how I live my life. 19, The Sixth Sense. People say it's M. Night Shyamalan's only good movie. I disagree. This, Unbreakable, is like number 51 on the list. 18, Scarface. Another movie you had sold to you. All these Italian movies, you just, the, the media sh really shoves it down your throat, you know? 17, Toy Story. Only animated movie on this list for good reason. 16, Psycho. Another old movie, but the shower scene where it's like, ha, 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 and he's like stabs him, and she's like, ah! 
ah, and there's like chocolate syrup going down the drain. That's the payoff, and you've seen that, so that's not a spoiler. 15, Inglorious Bastards. Saving Private Ryan is really, really good, but Hitler's face doesn't come off in it, so this movie is a tad bit better. 14, Ghostbusters. Cause who else are you gonna call? 13, The Breakfast Club. If Judd Nelson had another good movie, I'd let you know, but he doesn't. 12, The Matrix. This movie stunned fans and audience members everywhere. I have no joke about this. It's just a genuinely good movie. 11, Lord of the Rings. I mean the whole trilogy. I'm not gonna do the Back to the Future thing again. It's, I consider them one movie. Back to the Future is multiple movies because you know, the plot doesn't carry on throughout the films. I mean, it kind of does, but also, I, I'm, number 10, The Shining. Stanley Kubrick at his absolute best which means Stanley Kubrick at his absolute craziest. Number nine, The Departed. Scorsese's best. Number eight, The Dark Knight. I said some stuff about Kristen Bale earlier, but Heath Ledger helms that film. Number seven, Fight Club. Without this movie, college fraternities wouldn't even exist anymore. Number six, The Exorcist. I pissed my pants watching this movie. Like, that is scary, man. Like, you gotta watch it. It's like one of those movies, it's like, oh, you gotta watch The Exorcist. It's scary. Like, it's old, but it's scary. Number five, Animal House. R.I.P. John Belushi. Number four, Star Wars. I shouldn't have to pick you Star Wars. You should have seen Star Wars. If you haven't, you must be a fetus. I don't know. Three, The Shawshank Redemption. In case you ever get in prison, this is essentially a how-to guide of how to, like, work your way out. Two, The Godfather. Because it's an offer you can't refuse. A Marlon Brando impression. Let me know if it's any good. I only want positive feedback, by the way. And number one, Pulp Fiction. You knew it was coming. Tarantino strikes again on this list. You can watch any of these movies. It's your decision. But if you don't watch that one, you're just going to have to die unhappy. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I'm out of here.